Amanda, please bring up your dish. Everything on that plate, I've never worked with before, so I think this dish has balls just like me. Then albacore tuna encrusted with black sesame and toasted almond. So, an Asian-inspired version of tuna casserole. Yes, chef. Wonderful, rich, full flavor, a touch of heat, fresh flavors of that ginger, the background of the garlic. It's lovely. I think it could have done with a few more of the peas snaps to add just a touch more crunch to it. Were you happy with the way the tuna turned out? Yeah, I think I got a good sear. It's good. I find it just a little dry on the outside. Please head on back to your station. Alicia, please bring up your dish. It's a seared tuna and gnocchi with confit garlic. I can actually see every element of the classic tuna casserole dish, but you transformed it into something that is so relevant looking. I mean, it looks like a modern version. Thank you. What's the crust on the tuna? We drizzled some of the confit garlic oil on top. It's fantastic. This is an incredible dish. Maybe this is the turning point for you in this kitchen. Thank you. At this point, I'm thinking that this could be a winning dish. Trevor! Uh, so I have a seared albacore tuna, habanero cream sauce, and a handmade pasta. It's beautiful. It's visually stunning. It's a nice cook on the tuna. You kept it rare. You have the nice sear on it. Pasta, the consistency, and the thickness. Very nice. Wow. It's too hot. Can't get over that heat. That is a mistake. Wow, it's too hot. Can't get over that heat. That is a mistake. You know, from the outside, you seem like a very almost arrogant. But I think on the inside, you're terrified. I really feel that. Wow. Hot. Damn, that is hot. Wow. Did you use scotch bonnets? I was under the assumption it was a habanero. So you don't know. You use an habanero, which is also known as a scotch bonnet, which happens to be one of the hottest peppers on planet Earth. And all I think about now is that pepper. I don't really think about the tuna dish. Aaron, bring up your dish. It's a tuna sataki with celery root tortelloni with mint and pea velouté. It's very sophisticated. It's intelligent. What is inside your tortelloni? It's a celery root puree. I tried to keep it simple. I wanted to mimic the idea of the cream of celery soup. You sound like a pro. Far from it, chef. You've just created the best dish I've had in four seasons. It's amazing. Extraordinary praise, chef. There's nothing wrong with it. It's amazing. That sauce, it just pops with flavor. Your tortelloni are perfect. Perfectly cooked. You can tell they're handmade. What a shame it would be if you don't quit the job that you have now and become a chef. It'd be a real shame. May, please bring your dish up to the front. I'm feeling a little 
bit nervous. Everybody went a total different direction than I did. So it is uh, Asian-inspired casserole flavored with bonito, pan-fried tuna, and spinach, and then made your raid peas. It is an interesting little presentation. It's almost as if there are two worlds here, the classic homey-inspired tuna casserole, and then the modern interpretation of the tuna portion of it. And then the green sauce is your pea and spinach. Let's give that a try, an interesting combination. Very rich and savory. Again, a nice savory background, has that little creaminess from the cream sauce. It's a nice nod to the tuna casserole. Thank you. Jordan, please bring up your dish. I want to do this because I want to show the judges that I can create elevated food. I don't want to just take something and make casserole in a really boring, lame way. This is a tuna tataki with a Japanese-inspired velouté with a toasted cashew sand and taro swirls with a pea and lemon puree. You know the problem here, Jordan? You were asked to elevate the tuna casserole. I mean, this is, to me, more of a simplification. And I eat this right away. You know why? Before it all evaporates. Jordan, you have a lot of passion. I see that somewhere in this plate. But you dropped quite a few things. You dropped the noodles. You dropped the cheese. That's the problem. There are some beautiful tasting elements in there. But you were asked to elevate a tuna casserole, not just tuna. That may cost you. We saw a lot of innovation in this last challenge, but unfortunately, at least one of you will be leaving the MasterChef Canada kitchen tonight. So if you please excuse us, we need a chat. Wow, there were some incredible dishes, but also a couple of very weak ones. We had the full gamut. There was overreaching, there was complexity, there were some disastrous elements on plates. There were things that shouldn't have been there. I gave the judges a dish that ultimately they didn't like, so I'm feeling pretty down on myself. I know that this isn't my best dish, but there are some redeeming qualities that the judges did point out. It's a shame, but for one of these home cooks, their journey is going to end. Let's go tell them. Let's go. You really managed to elevate a very humble dish. And that forced us to get very picky in our assessments. The best dish of the night was... Aaron's. That dish just blew me away. I've had fire in my eyes since I got here. I'm winning this competition. And the second best dish of the night was made by a home cook who's not flying under the radar anymore. Congratulations, Alicia. I'm so relieved that I finally showed the judges that I have what it takes to be here. There was a third home cook whose dish impressed us. May, well done. All three of you will be captains in the next team challenge. It feels so good to be one of the top three dishes of the night. Unfortunately, some of you did not achieve the success that you were looking for tonight. Would the home cooks, who were disappointed in what they served us tonight, please come up to the front? I am not disappointed with my dish. I am happy with it. I'm staying put. Honestly, I think it's pretty clear that I have the worst critique. They didn't like my dish. I owe it to myself and to the judges to walk up there. Trevor, 
Captain Jordan. We really appreciate your honesty. Trevor, you hold yourself to a very high standard. Yes, Chef. And tonight, you didn't reach it. While your dish was too hot, it had many redeeming features. You're safe. Go back to your station. Thank you, Chef. Jordan, we know that you were deeply disappointed with your dish. And sadly, so will we. And there's absolutely no doubt in our minds that you have more to offer. Please leave here with your head held high. We can't wait to see where you go from here. Now come on up and say your goodbyes. I am so proud of myself. I am so happy that I have competed in this competition. Don't you ever stop cooking. It's in your heart. This competition has reaffirmed that I want to pursue a career in food, and that is the only path I'm going to take in life. At 22 years old, I am one of the top 10 home cooks in this country. That in itself is an accomplishment.